Today you will learn how to add glyph in Adobe Illustrator. Welcome to Easy Guide YouTube channel. By default when you type any text in Adobe Illustrator, it will simply show you like this. Marriott Pro is the default typeface in Illustrator. But if you have a stylish typeface like this, then you can add glyphs in this text. For example, if I select this letter, you can see some available glyph options below the selection. You can see the tail of letter M is changing, so you can select different variations of letter M. You can use these glyphs to add extra creativity to your design project. This is a pretty long tail. So let me remove some part of this text, so now you can clearly see what I am talking about. Wait a minute, let me type a generic word like good morning. So this is a simple text. The typeface I am using is Alana Regular. This is free font for commercial use. You can download this font. Link is given in the description. If you select the letter G, you can see different variations of this letter G. If you click on this arrow button, this glyph panel will open. Here you can see all the variations of the selected letters. If you are not able to see this feature, then you may be using an older version of Adobe Illustrator. In the older version, you can go to type, choose glyph. So this panel will appear or you can go to window, type and glyph option. So this panel will appear. You can adjust these letters as you want. You can play around different glyphs to add extra creativity to your design. If you want to adjust the spacing between this text, then you can go to window, type, characters. Here you can adjust the leading, means spacing between this text. If you click here and choose show option, then you can see some advanced edit options to edit your designs. We can also align the text in the center. So here is our text. We have to increase the spacing between these characters. The best thing about this, your text is completely 100% editable. If I type hello, let me choose the proper glyph for this text. If I select H, you can see I also have a variation for this. Let me change the first letter to capital. For further editing your design, you can also convert this text to outline. Now ungroup these, select the text you want to edit and adjust the text as you want. We can also add a background to this text. Go to file, place and choose the background. Scale up the background while pressing shift key, equally increase width and height. Now right click, arrange and send to back. Remove these blue cross lines by clicking embed button here. We can adjust this background according to our artboard size. Choose rectangle tool and click once. Enter the same width and height as our artboard size. Align in center horizontally and vertically. Now choose rectangle and background both. Right click and choose make clipping mask. Select the background and send to back. You can also lock this background so it does not irritate you while working. Now select the text and choose a lighter color to create a contrast between text and background. One important design tip is if you want to add a text line or a paragraph with this typeface, then you may choose a regular typeface with this. For example, I am adding a line of text, I will change this to regular typeface like mode syrup and adjust this as you like. And here is our final design. You can also download the resource file used in this project. Link is given in the description. So I hope you have learned how to add glyph in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting design tutorial. If you have any question or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment below and I will be happy to help. See you in the next video.